security system will be installed by the time thousands of people fly into Jacksonville. And Melissa, a local company created this new system, and if it works here, it could be used around the country soon. That's right, Jeannie. Good evening. With all of the visitors coming to the First Coast for the Super Bowl, JIA can't afford to make any mistakes, so they're betting on smart cameras. It was a traveler's worst nightmare. Busy O'Hare Airport shut down for hours back in 1999 when a man ran through a security checkpoint. He was never found. In Baltimore last year, same story. Crowds bottled up after airport police discovered a suspicious package. And here's yet another recent evacuation at LAX after a similar scare. With thousands of travelers descending on JIA for Super Bowl 39, what's to prevent a similar airport disaster here when the whole world will be watching? I think it's a, it's a great thing. It's Luckily, the Transportation Security Administration, working with a local technology firm, thinks it has the answer. Travelers already go through this security checkpoint at JIA, but the airport will soon have more than 100 new smart security cameras. They're designed to instantly track suspicious packages, even quickly find someone going the wrong way. What the technology does is it senses the motion going in the wrong direction, and then it will tag and track the individual that caused that motion. Jacksonville-based Duos Technologies developed the video flashlight program. The goal, to help airport security move faster to nab a suspicious person or bag and make informed decisions about whether it's even necessary to shut down a terminal, making you, the traveler, a lot less inconvenience. We may well not have to empty out the concourse, stop airplanes, and uh, rescreen everyone that's uh, already been rescreened. Good news for both JIA and all of the travelers that will be coming here in, as you said, Jeannie, 52 days. Hard to believe that. A $1.3 million grant from the Homeland Security Administration, uh, Homeland Security Office, is what funded this pilot program. If it's successful, they'll evaluate that after the Super Bowl. It could spread to other airports. Live at JIA, Melissa Ross, First Coast News.